Welcome to One Honest Nation TV. I'm your host, Devin Willer. We got a great show for you guys tonight. Whatever happened to us just being Generation Y? I guess at some point the world must have turned on us because when people always speak about millennials, it's always negative as hell. Seriously. Right now on this show, I'm going to give us a new title. We are no longer millennials. But Generation Recession, how about that? I swear, people act like it never happened to us. Like we got skipped. Look, I got friends who came home from college and are still working at Fridays right now. And allegedly, where everything is wrong with America and we're faulted for everything the older generation doesn't like. Blockbuster went out of business. The reason why, those damn millennials and that internet, the Google. So for our first guest, we have Daryl A. Williams, a father, psychologist, publisher, and self-proclaimed dating expert. Daryl A. Williams. Nice Young man, how are you? Nice, you? nice seeing you as well. Please have a seat. Thank you. No problem. Thanks for coming out tonight. Thanks for coming out tonight. No problem. Thanks for having me here. Now, I know you're making some very definitive statements, and uh, some of the statements I do agree with. Okay. Um, what is your kind of standard of your beliefs? In terms of religion? I guess in terms of why do you believe what you believe? Is it because of experience? Is it because of... Well, that is, too. Okay. But honestly... It's the simplicity of it all. Okay. The Bible lays it all out. It's simple. Now, you, you touched on something about males, and you said that you know a 50-year-old male and you know 25-year-old men. Yes. What is, uh, outside of those five, are those five things the threshold of manhood? Now, let's just say this. I know a lot of the times, like, a culture is definitely changing, and I could, we could all sense that. So how do you go about, I guess, respecting a woman's independence, but also treating her... Um, as a woman of value while leading. Our special guest for the night is a good friend of mine, originally from Memphis, Tennessee, but is now one of DMV's very own. She's a spoken word phenom who at the age of seven began her career as a writer, pinning life through her own eyes. Here to perform selections from her latest album, please welcome to the stage, Kazada the Poet. So let me ask you this now, your art, I, I, don't, I don't even know how to describe it, almost. Mm. I feel like it's extremely vulnerable. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. Let me ask you this. I know a big part of an artist is, like I said, be, becoming vulnerable, being vulnerable. Right. And uh, we have a different path than most people right. um, being an artist. What would you say, um, I guess, what type of things do, do you pour into your life, or you bring into your life that um, inspire you to write? Baby, you so are beautiful, wonderful. Oh, I guess a lot of people my may say, world, like, my favorite you girl. Even doing I love because you, you would Baby, almost. It's scary you. how good you are. I love to kiss you, <laughs> hold you. If so how long have you been doing? Told you okay, you know about Tennis Beach, right? Like, yeah. it's like when Let me you hear show you you see color. Like, your music makes me stop in place and like just search yeah. here think about it right really just search here and go how can i be better or how mm -hmm. can i like show people they appreciate it yeah. um yeah. it's almost like it's, it's full of shared experiences because it's like wow this person is expressing a thought that i have yeah Welcome back to One Honest Nation TV. I'm your host, Devin Willer. And up next, we have a very special guest. Coming in is one of the most influential people in the DMV area under 30. Shanice Bamero is a policy advocate by trade, currently involved in community organizing around criminal justice issues and working with my church, the Zion Church, to develop a project called the Zion Justice Ministry. Please welcome Shanice Bamero. Thank welcome you. Welcome to the show. Thank you. All right, all right. So Shanice, I guess, what got you into social justice issues? Let me ask you this, how do you speak to someone who may say, I like what you're saying, Shanice, mm -hmm. but they may have a pessimistic attitude. How do you approach them? How do you convince them of changing their mind? Well, thank you. I'd like to thank you for your time. Thank you. That was Shanice Romero. We'll be right back with more on Station TV right after this. Oh, I have a sense of urgency here. No one knows the return of Christ is near. Whoa, 
one was when, where can you afford to? Black Panther. It is no secret. Black Panther has been a box office success. It just keeps breaking records. I guess you don't ask a bird how to fly. You just gotta let it do what it do. Take that, take that. <laughs> I don't think Diddy had anything to do with this movie, but I feel like he just butt in with that. Take the soundtrack, get back to me. Have you ever, have you seen it? Schools, churches, celebrities are buying out theaters and sending kids to see Black Panther. It's amazing. If you already weren't aware, viewers are all ages. T'Challa, 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 T'Challa. Everybody, uh, this is... T'Challa. What is that? T'Challa. 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 Kaziah. T'Challa. Is that you? Where are you? That is not my name. Okay. Could, what, what, what is your name? Nakia. Ndobu. Shuri. It's interesting to see like uh, where, where music is going because now you can make music on the laptop. Mm -hmm. Now you have to like gather uh, TV's crews worth of mm -hmm. people to yeah. make one song. Yeah. Now you can make it on your laptop, produce mm -hmm. it, put it out. Um, like you and get a response from mm -hmm. it. But I think the one interesting thing I wanted to ask you is, how is your creative space laid out? You know what I mean? Like, I know mm -hmm. that people, some people, they only <clears throat> write in their journal. Yeah. And okay. they write on Tuesday or whatever the case may yeah, be, yeah. early morning, <laughs> yeah. riser or whatever the case may be. How important is your space? If you were to ask me, why did I create One Last Nation? I would have to tell you that I did it. Uh, it's something the Lord did. And he's just using me as a liaison for his kingdom that the first step is to be honest. Um, that's the, and to be transparent about the issues, the problems. Um, I believe that's the first step to any type of faith decision. Basically, uh, with One Honest Nation, um, is a collection of artists, collection of talented people who want to serve the Lord uh, with their very best, um, going from video production to audio production to poetry to writing to, to even rapping.